Get ready for war. That's what a top U.S. general is now telling his troops to get ready for war by the year 2025. General Minihan sent a letter to his troops telling them, hey, you better get ready. Now, even before we blew up their natural gas pipeline, they were building that coalition to dethrone the United States dollar dominance. And historically, the way that we deal with people like this is we threaten war and we actually try to destabilize these countries through regime change and sanctions like we're doing in Ukraine right now to Russia. And now we're about to do the very same thing in Mexico. Earlier this week, Mexico announced its intent to join Russia and China as part of the BRICS nations. Holy crap. Our neighbor Mexico, the country we've been exploiting for years, a country we invaded and took their land in the 1840s, they finally had enough of our bullying garbage and is starting to stand its ground, wants to align their currency and trade with China and Russia. Now, I would say Mexico has a plethora of trading options. What is a plethora? Why, Wapo? Well, you told me I have a plethora. And then just like that, a plethora of U.S. congressmen started talking about invading Mexico with U.S. military forces. Here's gringo Lindsey Graham, Ukraine's favorite senator, introducing legislation to invade Mexico. I'm going to introduce legislation, Jesse, to make uh, certain Mexican drug cartels foreign terrorist organizations under U.S. law and set the stage to use military force if necessary to protect America from being poisoned by things coming out of Mexico. These people are insane. And then not to be outdone is Congressman Dan Crenshaw calling for U.S. military in Mexico. Hoy quiero dirigir este mensaje al presidente de México, Andrés Manuel López Obrador. Señor presidente, Usted recientemente criticó mi plan para autorizar la fuerza militar contra los... We are not going to permit any foreign government to intervene in our territory. Y mucho menos. Especially not a foreign government's armed forces. ¿Qué le pasa? What's wrong with them? Eso, claro, of course we don't no accept that. We don't accept threats. But it's not President Biden's government, it's the Republicans. That was Mexico's President Andres Manuel López Obrador. He was reacting to calls by some U.S. Republicans to send the U.S. military to shut down drug labs in Mexico. Senator Lindsey Graham said he would introduce a new bill to designate Mexican cartels as foreign terrorist organizations and authorize the use of military force against them. We're going to unleash the fury and might of the United States against these cartels, not to invade Mexico, not to shoot Mexican airplanes down, but to destroy drug labs that are poisoning Americans. An abduction of four Americans in northeastern Mexico has renewed the focus on narco trafficking as the U.S. heads into a presidential election next year. The case triggered a massive surge involving Mexican security forces and two of the Americans were found dead, one wounded and one unharmed earlier this week. Mexican authorities say it was a case of mistaken identity by a drug cartel. Research says Mexican gangs produce much of the fentanyl consumed in the U.S. The opioid is blamed for more than 70,000 overdose deaths in the U.S. every year.